This video is all about what to do about Word documents within Google Classroom. I know that may just sound very contrary to each other, but at the same time, Google has made some changes in Google Drive that I think are really useful to teachers and students alike. And so if you have teachers, or if you are a teacher that really, really likes Microsoft Word, then Google Classroom just became a lot more usable to you. And what it'll do is it'll distribute a Word document just like you can with a Google Doc and make it completely functional. And you get to create those things in Microsoft Word in the first place. So let's say I'm a teacher and I created something in Microsoft Word just because for whatever reason it, it feels comfortable to me. And then what I do is I can create the assignment in Google Classroom still instead of doing it by email or, or whatever means, whatever format you want to. And not only that, but they're still collaborative. So that's really cool. So I can hit create assignment and it gets treated just like a Google doc, except it just maintains that docx format. So here is a Word document assignment. And what I will do is I'm gonna keep this ungraded. I don't need one. I'm gonna make it do on Wednesday. And we're gonna set the topic as, actually I'm gonna go ahead and create a topic. Word doc, and I'm going to attach it from Google Drive. Now I could do this a couple of different ways. I could upload one, but I already have one saved in Google Drive. Here is my document. I saved it already in Google Drive. Um, so you'll want to probably upload your file into Google Drive in the first place, but that's okay. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and attach this from Google Drive because that's where I have it saved. I'm gonna hit recent here. Here's my recent Word document, hit add. And then I still get to choose whether or not students can view, can edit, or make a copy for each student. And as you can see, it's still called a Word document. So I'm going to, in this case, allow for it to be make a copy for each student because I want each student to work on their own and I will assign it. Okay, now that that assignment is created and I have the topic down here, Word doc, and I have the assignment it shows that zero I've turned it in and two are assigned. I'm going to pull up my fake student here. I'll show you that the stream is updated. Here's my assignment with a Word doc in it, and it still says Word doc, and it does the exact same thing that it does to a Google doc. Changes the title of it and everything. The only difference is that for students, they will have to do a little more work as far as accessing it. And so it's going to show up in this preview window like this, but what they'll need to do is hit open in new window. And then after that, what they will need to do is they will need to choose to open it with Google Docs. Okay, so the student is here working in a Word document. They could put in their answer and they can add whatever they want to it, just like it's a Google Doc, which is really kind of cool. The only difference is, is that add-ons do not exist in Word documents when used in Google Drive. So just keep that in mind. The other difference is that in a Google Doc, in Google Classroom, you usually see a turn in button and there you do not see the turn in button. That's okay because all the student needs to do is close out of this window. It'll take them back to Google Classroom, but they'll need to hit close here. So it's a little more workflow than what it is with a Google Doc and they hit turn in. So then what the teacher will need to do is they will need to open it. It will take them to the grading view in Google Classroom. Another catch is that you'll notice that you cannot edit it because it is a Word doc. It's not as smooth as it is if it's a Google doc, but you could always go here and hit open with Google docs. It's just extra steps. That's all it is. But if you wanted to leave your comments, you could leave your comments like this, mark something specific and still comment on it. And you can utilize also the comment bank if you have kept things in your comment bank like so, like if I wanted to mark something specific like this. Let me highlight this like so, hit the comment button. If I hit the hashtag, I can see any of them that I have in my comment bank and I can hit comment. So now I have a few comments here that are floating, um, but I can't necessarily just edit the document in this view. I would actually have to go to open with and Google Docs in order to be able to do so. But I can return it and I could have left a grade too if I had required a grade in Google Classroom. And so now the student can look at their work. Let me go back to the beginning so that way you get a feel for that. And they can see what they had turned in and it was returned to them. 
And now when I go here, it'll load up. I don't have to open it in the Google Docs editor, but I will have to go up here to the three dots and hit open in new window. So that way I can actually see any comments that were left for me. And the comments are left over here off to the side. And again, if I wanted to be able to edit this, I would have to click on open with and choose Google Docs. And as you can see, the comments do transfer over when I go into the actual editing portion, which is very nice as well. Again, this is all built within Google Drive. There's no need for an Office editing extension like you had to use in the past in order to edit Office documents. But you just have to remember that when you open the document, that you open it in a new window, that when you open a document, you have to open it in a new window, and then choose open with and Google Docs, and you'll be able to keep the format of DocX.